What's up, everybody? I know everybody's been waiting for a root for the um, Gingerbread 2.3.3 for Evo, um, the regular Evo. Um, they've actually found a way to do it, and uh, I've rooted my Evo already. Um, I don't have another camera to. This is my son. <laughs> I don't have another camera to actually show you the process on my phone, but I'm going to walk you through the process on the computer and give you kind of a half ass uh, uh, root method. Um, hopefully, you won't have any problems. If you do, hit me in the comments. Everybody knows I'm willing to help. Um, so, let's get started. Alright, first thing we're going to do is go to uh, this website right here, if you can see it. It's uh, forum.xda-developers.com slash showthread.php question uh, mark lowercase t equals 1218386. Okay. And you see up there at the top it says root for Evo 4G Gingerbread 2.3 root tutorial. It's really a simple process. Um, it does most of the work. You know, the only reason I'm doing this video is uh, for those people who may have a few problems. Okay. So you can go here and you can see exactly what I'm showing you. And then uh, you'll know exactly what to do. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click stop. We're gonna click on the uh, to download the super user. Okay, so we'll click that and we're gonna download. Okay, and it's it's down. It's gonna download in a second. Alright, that's downloading. So that's your super user. That's downloading. Uh, we're going to go right here to where the HTC drivers are. And I can click that. And go down here. Save that. It's going to download. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as it says it's going to take. Um, okay. Step three. We need to download the revenue revolutionary s off and recovery tool. I had all this stuff on here. I deleted it, and I was like, "Man, I guess I'll go ahead and do that video." So I'm gonna hopefully see if we can get that downloading a little faster than what it's downloading. So hold on, hold on one second. Okay, I I, I did delete it. So all right. So the HTC drivers are uh, um, downloading right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and download the revolutionary at the same time. Okay, so we'll go to the site and we'll go download for Windows. Okay, and it's going to download for you, and then right here it's going to ask you the operating system. So mine's Windows, but you know, you may need Linux or whatever. Okay, put your device HTC Evo 4G H boot version, it's the only one on there, and then right here in the bottom, okay. So it should look like this. On this bottom, you're going to put your serial number. It's underneath your battery. Pull your battery out and look at the bottom one. It has an S slash N. Uh, just put that long number in there and then hit generate key. Okay. Write, it, that, write that key down because you're going to need it. <coughs> okay. Okay. 
What that what that uh, does is it generates a special key for your phone, and it uh, and then it um will let you root your phone. I don't know how they do it, but that's what it does. And like always, man, uh, you should you should um disable or uninstall HTC Sync, and um, uh, you know you can go offline if you want, and then uh uninstall your antivirus because I was having a problem until I uninstalled it it kept saying waiting for a device so if you go ahead and um, un, uh, not not uninstall but disable your antivirus it should go ahead and um, it should go ahead and um, go through pretty quickly it only took me like you know three minutes to root my phone I mean it's it's pretty simple so and while you're waiting for the drivers to, uh, the HTC driver to, um, install, you can go ahead and, uh, you can go ahead and, um, take this super user that you downloaded and you can put that directly on your SD card, okay? And you're also going to need a recovery, so... You're gonna have to uh, get get a recovery, whether it be Amun Ra or uh, or uh, Clockwork, you know, and it has to be in a zip. Um, I don't know if they have one on right on the top of here or not. They had one in the other post I was on, and you know, it's just temporary. If you use Clockwork or whatever, you know, then you just uh. You know, you can just download Amun Ra just for the sake, because you're going to have to um, flash a recovery, or if you're hooked up to the internet already, then you can uh, click it and tell them at that time that you want to install a recovery. Hey, stop. That's my kids, like always. Anybody who's watched my videos knows my kids are crazy. That's my little girl. But like right here, uh, it's going to say right here. Okay. Make sure you install recovery image when asked. Note, after the tool is complete, you will be left in fast mode. Just select bootloader, then select recovery in, uh, to boot into recovery. So, basically what it's saying is... Uh, you're gonna have to um, put a recovery directly on your um, SD card, you know, zipped up. However, it comes in a uh, rename it PC36 IMG, um, all capitals, and uh, you'll be able to flash flash that from the bootloader. <laughs> Okay, this is almost done downloading. It takes 20 years, it seems like. Alright, now that the ACC uh, drivers, you're going to click on them and uh, open it. Okay, because you're going to want to install these drivers. Some people already have them installed. I, I just reinstalled them. I didn't know if they were newer ones or not. So, let me see. Alright, continue. 
can you? Just go through the motions and install the drivers. I'm not going to install them again for lack of time, but just install them. And uh, after you're done installing those drivers, okay. After you're done installing those drivers, you're going to want to um, pl uh, plug in your phone. Actually, put it in uh, USB debugging mode, and you're going to want to plug in your uh, and then plug in your phone. Okay. After you plug in your phone in USB uh, debugging mode, okay, you're going to go to that revolutionary. You're going to unzip it. Okay. And you're gonna hit the application. So you're gonna hit the application. Okay. Now mine, I don't have it plugged in because I'm using my phone to record this. But it's gonna say waiting. Our mine says waiting for device. Yours, if you've done it correctly, uh, meaning you have your phone in USB debugging mode, <laughs> then you uh, it should come up with like your serial number and all that other stuff, like what your phone is. And then um, it'll give you a spot to paste that serial number or that uh, beta key that you got off that revolutionary website. So you'll paste that in there and you'll hit enter and it will go through the motions by itself. You, you don't have to do anything. It will do everything itself. It's going to ask you when it finishes um, rooting your device if you want to um, install a... Uh, a recovery now if you're hooked up to the internet which I'm not I'm using my phone as my internet so I had to do it different but uh if you're hooked up to the internet you just hit yeah and it should download it and install a cover on your phone if you're not or if something goes wrong it's okay to it's okay to uh, re uh reboot your phone into uh into uh the bootloader and when it starts looking for the um looking for the uh the file the PC 36 IMG then you'll um be able to flash it from the bootloader okay after you flash the recovery you're gonna wanna go into recovery right from the fast boot so you can flash the super user file once you flash the super user file, okay. Once you flash the super user file, you can reboot and you'll be rooted. So I'm gonna go through this again, just a a, a brief tutorial, okay? You're gonna want to download the super user zip at the top, download your HTC drivers and install them, download the Revo revolutionary s off and recovery tool and, and unzip them to a folder on your computer, okay? Enable you uh you don't need to do that right away, but uh then what what you're going to do is you're going to want to get a recovery which uh could be Amun Ra or Clockwork and put it on your SD card with the super user zip. Put them both on your SD card, but make sure your recovery is named PC36IMG, all in capitals, okay? And it has to be in a zip. So once you put those on there, okay, put your phone in um, uh, debugging mode, okay? And uh, when you go to that revolutionary site, remember, put in your information and write down that serial number. Once you write down that serial number, you're going to need that to paste into the window when you run the revolutionary um, program. <clears throat> okay. Make sure you disable your antivirus briefly and uninstall HTC Sync for, for the moment. Okay. After you run revolutionary... It's going to ask you if you want to download a recovery. You can click yes if you're hooked up to your internet, and it'll go ahead and it should download one and install your recovery. Once that happens, you're gonna it's going to leave you in fast boot. You're going to want to go into recovery and go to where you put that super user zip right here, and then flash that. After you're done, reboot. Okay. If you're not hooked up to the internet. 
and you're tethering your phone or something, then go ahead and download a recovery previously to running Revolutionary and go ahead and put on your SD card. Okay? That way, once it asks you, do you want to download a recovery, you can say no, and then you can go ahead and flash the uh, the PC36 IMG, the recovery, from the bootloader yourself and then you can go into recovery and flash the super user file okay if you have any questions sorry if it's confusing uh, but uh, it's, it's pretty simple man I'm just confusing myself because my kids are screaming in the background but uh, you know if I could show you which I'm gonna try to get another camera and make a video but uh, hopefully this will suffice thank you